Welcome to the Fox Learn. Christopher Alexander first introduced the concept of design patterns in civil architecture in 1977, they were later adapted to software design. The academic and commercial interest in software design patterns has grown dramatically over the last few years, and design patterns have been catalogued by a number of researchers. Design patterns are mostly seen as solutions to software design issues. They are, of course, not the only solution to software design, and they should not be used to the exclusion of all others. Component-based design, software architecture, aspect-oriented programming, and refactoring also have a place. Viewed against the larger backdrop of software engineering, design patterns can be seen to present some of their own challenges. Traceability the traceability of a design pattern is hard to maintain when programming languages offer poor support for the underlying patterns. The physical implementation of a design pattern in a programming language can be scattered across a number of classes and thus hard to trace. Reusability, design patterns are used and reused in the design of a software system, but with little or no language support, developers must implement the patterns again and again in a physical programming language. A design pattern does not give a developer the same benefits that a component does, which can encapsulate behavior and be reused as is. Readability, some design patterns have several methods with trivial behavior. Without good programming tools, it can be tedious to write all this code and maintain it. Once again, more compact and powerful language features can alleviate the programmer's burden. Maintainability, using multiple patterns can lead to a large cluster of mutually dependent classes. Mutually dependent classes can lead to maintainability problems when implemented in a traditional object-oriented programming language. Current research is investigating how to transform design patterns into reusable artifacts so that developers won't have to implement the same patterns over and over. In 1997, Bertrand Meyer defined reusability as the ability of software elements to serve for the construction of many different applications. In the context of design patterns, a specific language feature, a language library, or a component could solve the pattern implementation reusability problem. Meyer goes on to state that a design pattern is componentizable if it is possible to produce a reusable component, which provides all the functions of the pattern and that a successful pattern cannot just be a book description, it must be a software component, or a set of components. Design patterns offer a number of benefits as they do the following. Promote design reuse. Form a common vocabulary and improve communication within and across software development teams. Improve documentation. Help developers restructure a system, regardless of whether it used them up front. Explicitly capture knowledge that experienced developers already understand implicitly. Facilitate training of new developers. Transcend programming language-centric viewpoints. Exploit and bring out the best in programming languages.
Thank you for watching this video.